Hi viewers, welcome back to my Excel tutorials. Today I am going to explain to you how to do a budget versus actual variance analysis um, as you can see in this figure. Here you can see the budgeted figure in uh, of each month, the budgeted and actual figure and the variance of each month. The actual figure is uh, in the yellow color and this, uh, this color is for uh, budgeted figure and the positive variance is noted in green color and the negative variance in red color so from this report the management can easily make decision which will be more helpful for the management people okay. so now let's go to uh, the tutorial for the same i am going to copy this uh, data for you this, from this data i am preparing this uh, tutorial going to copy. copy the data uh, another sheet okay, I am changing the formats first of all I am going to change, check the format whether it is correct or not just keep changing this in order to make a chart like this we need to do some calculations first so first I will find the base variance and the positive variance Also, there is separate column for negative variance. So, the base variance is the minimum of minimum of the budget and actual and the budget. Do the minimum function to find out the base variance. So, this is the base variance. I am copying down the formula. Then. Now again another calculation using the logical test if if this base base variance is equal to the budget then we can say that actually is more because we the base variance is the minimum 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 of the value of budget or actual then if the base variance is equal to budget then the budget is minimum so what we have to do is minus uh, actual minus budget we, what we want in this column is the actual minus budget else if space I am copying down here same way for the negative variance if if the base variance same formula I am using if the base variance is equal to budget then you know that the variance is positive then we know that the variance is positive so if the positive the variance is positive we don't want anything here we will put space here and if it is not so then what we have to do budget minus actual Close the bracket and copy down so that you can see here from here you can see that here the actual is more so there is a positive variance okay, here the budget is more then there is a negative variance of 140 so now let us go to the chart preparing the chart we want the chart like this where you can see the actual budget and the variance in different colors that is the highlight of this chart uh, we can see the variance in different colors it is highlighted in different colors so select the data go to insert and go go to the recommended charts where you can see a stacked column chart select that one click ok now you think this is not the figure we seen in our uh, previous display so we have to do a lot of work from here this is the first step now select this one what is this this is actual you can when you click here you can see that this uh, this this all the series is selected the actual series is selected for confirmation you can go to this format and see that here you can select the series first I am selecting the series actual and I am going to format the selection format I am selecting it as secondary axis and the series overlap I am making it as 0 and the gap width I am making it as 2 okay. now it looks like this now again I select the chart area go to format 
and I am selecting the budget figure series budget format the selection of budget that also I will make it as secondary axis so zero sorry zero and uh, gap width thirty percent. Now the chart look like this. Again, select this chart area. Go to the design. Change chart type. Here you can see the actual budget base variance, positive variance, negative variance, everything in stacked column chart because we selected the stacked column chart first. And again, after that we selected this two secondary axis, this two series into secondary axis. So first we have to change this one to column when you select one one series to clustered column in secondary axis immediately the other also changes to clustered column in the secondary axis then click ok now you can see the figure as it is this in this is the same figure here now we have to do some modifications I just change the color okay for changing the color select the series first here go to here actual format selection fill whatever color you want to change what is the make it a solid fill and if you want to light 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 orange make it a slight orange then this one the budgeted figure go to series format series budget format selection color solid fill where you are going This is what format positive variance okay. format selection. Go to colors, solid fill, and you can select it so green, highlight it with green. And if it is negative, go to format, select positive variance, format selection. And you can select the red so now somehow it is over then you can do the other things is this from the normal charts in Excel so remove the grid lines change the title title that you want to type here use revenue 16 budget action okay. budget versus action now we have to put um, labels data labels click the data labels here one thing you can see no 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 there is a small problem here you can see some zero figures here it is showing as negative variance okay. because here there are some figures blank that is why it is showing that we have to change the format to you do like this it is removed it is eliminated that zeros are eliminated sorry zeros are eliminated here now this one this one showing as base variance this, if you roll over here you can see this point is the base variance point so we don't want to show this base variance in the uh, analysis this is for our calculation only so select this one and to delete delete this now select this one and you can confirm whether about the data this is it is actual data label format the selection you can find this one sender so, sender same way select this budget data label format selection go to the sender so, here it is so you can see from the you can even change the font also if you want to show something show something this is in what which one this is positive variance data label go to this one right button um, right mouse click go to the font this 
you want to make it is bold make it bold change the font size to a bigger size to view make it style make it in another color this positive variant so so we can make it a green color and move the data label like this so again you can change if you if you don't like this uh, this colors again uh, do the same thing to change this one to again to black so it is highlighted same way this also negative variants go to font changes to 12 and in the bold figure make it is another color white this is not good okay again select that one negative variance go to that font black then you can see the variance highlighted in a way that uh, you, the management can easily make decisions now you can remove this base variance since it is not in the chart you can delete that way to select that one and delete that one now do some modifications as you like okay then move this like that uh, to the legend to the top beautiful i think uh, this will be very useful for the management to make quick decisions hope you enjoyed my video please uh, comment on my video and please subscribe my channel thanks for watching my video